Uh, I'm not obsessed with a specific instrument or a specific genre as much as I'm constantly obsessed with making something that sounds unique. There's always the question, what would it sound like if I did this instead? The not so conventional way of things fitting in. I just like to question everything. I feel like that's, that's the only way you get to areas that haven't been discovered yet. Collaborations are very interesting, but they're also very challenging. The most important thing is the communication and not just the sense of where like people are talking together, but the, the part where you, you really capture one person's or one artist's signature or character. I heard about these tribes in the desert, I think close to Wadi Gemel, which is very close to here. They do this dance while clapping and stomping and it creates this polyrhythmic pattern. I don't even know if they count the same way drummers count or, uh, or the same way a producer will count when they're structuring a rhythm. I don't know how much they know of how valuable this is today. If you look at just modern music, it's been really shifting towards these, what they call exotic rhythms. But in reality, all of this stuff came from Africa. And a lot of these people don't even know that. To me, being in Marsa Alam, talking to these guys who have probably never heard of anything that I'm doing, musically or that, what, what are you playing? You're playing the laptop, is that an instrument? That is very interesting. I feel like I have involuntarily spread knowledge of something. I had no idea this, this, this would happen. The best possible outcome would be to expose a lot of these talents that myself and the other guys have discovered around Egypt to expose them to people in Cairo and hopefully people abroad just to see different things that we don't get to see and for that to be like a really cool show maybe.